Hi, I'm in Florida right now, and yesterday I was driving from Fort Lauderdale up to uh, West Palm Beach. And while I was driving, I get these text messages from my producer director, Dan, and at 3.07 p.m. it says, Dow down 900 today. 3.08 p.m., make that 1,000. 3.10 p.m., now 1,100. Uh, 3.14 p.m., 1,200. Uh, now, if you take a look at the video, Things to Come in 2018, I think that's the title. Uh, we'll post a link under this video. But it's a video I did in early January, and I was updating an old article that uh, somebody had written, uh, and it was talking about the volatility index, the insane levels of... Uh, of and basically, I was saying, this is insane. It can't last. Something is going to break. Uh, and so it, it shows you the technical indicators of why this is unsustainable. The way the markets have been going, are it's completely crazy. And But it's not over yet. Uh, if you take a look at the charts, uh, the, we have not yet reached the 200-day moving average. And everything eventually has to touch its 200-day moving average. It's just something that happens in the markets. So you're going to see a further drop coming sometime soon. But what's interesting, the speed of this drop was so rapid, and it's because of what the article that I was updating talks about. It's the all the black box trading and all of these funds that are uh, tied to ETFs and so on, uh, where they're uh, mimicking the stock markets. And uh, when the technical indicators turn negative, there could be a wave of selling and you could see a crash like we had uh, yesterday that is 10 times worse. Um, right now, you know, the press is going the biggest point drop in, in so many years or whatever. And that point drop thing is all a bunch of BS. Uh, it's the percentage that counts because the higher the market goes, the bigger the point drops are going to be whenever the market uh, pulls back. And like I said, hasn't pulled back to the 200-day moving average yet. It's going to. But what's inter interesting to me is that gold and silver did not go down this time with the market like they did in 2007. And the reason they went down in, two in 2008, I'm sorry, um, the reason they went down in 2008 with the markets at first was because uh, there was margin call and people had futures and ETFs on their uh, trading platforms. And so when they had to liquid liquidate and come up with the margin call, uh, they liquidated their gold and silver also. Well, that didn't happen this time. There's a different dynamic. Gold and silver are showing tremendous strength in the face of market weakness. So that's it for this update. It's a quick update from Florida via an iPhone. <laughs> so thanks for watching.